Okay, so I'm Grabs Walker. Hello and welcome to Slay the Spire. Third episode. If you didn't see the other two, maybe we go back because this thing's like all the way in now. This run's like nearly getting somewhere. I don't think I'm going to beat this one. Like, I feel like I'm going to fall here. Uh, first one was okay. Second one was a bit scary at times. It popped our fairy in the bottle, which means we should have lost. And we're not going to get another one of them because we can't pick potions up anymore. In terms of the route, I don't see a good route this time, but I think the leftmost is the least bad. Alright, an orb walker with a hundred health. Alright, let's double tap. Dramatic entrance a bit. I guess double strike is better than double cleave. So we can headbutt, get our double tap back, cleave. Guy's nearly dead. Looking okay. I'll pick up uh, bloodletting for a super spin. Ow. Oh yeah, we had no block. We, <laughs> we have no block in this deck. Alright, super low and it's over. Nice. Oh, and we heal for six because that's our thing. So taking that like eight damage wasn't the end of the world. Another cleave. Gain two strength though. That adds to all of our spins. So do we have a spin or do we have a buff to a spin? I feel like we need more spins. We've got, we've got problems finding the spins. Okay. These things have 40 health. We might be able to cleave a couple of them down. Why am I taking damage? Uh, they're like spitting the damage back at me. Oh, thorns. When it takes damage, deal three back. Ugh, that's hideous. Alright, let's finish off the other two. Pick up cleave, I guess. And then... 12 damage? I mean, this guy's nearly dead anyway. 12 damage might help. Ow. We're definitely struggling to get through this one. Oh, it, it keeps flicking the damage back at me. Oh, I should have armored before I... Alright, we took damage we didn't need to take, but it's it's okay. It's okay, we're going to do our best. Warcry, draw two, put one back. That'll help us find our cleaves. And our whirlwinds. As you head upwards, hopping from one floating shape to another, you slip. You begin to fall. Fuck. While in free fall, you consider your options. Land safely, channel a power, strike a wall. I guess we could lose defend, but... Because it's a basic card, it's what you start with. It's the worst card, but it's one of our only blocking cards. Okay, we've got question, camp, boss, camp. Or we've got shop, enemy, camp, question, camp. Let's go shop. We've got 600 gold to spend. Let's get something nice. Start elite combats with 2 strength. First time you lose health, draw 2 cards. Start with 10 block. Could be nice. Put a skill from the draw pile into your hand. What's a skill? Let me have a look what a skill is real quick. Double taps a skill. Alright, let's pick Secret Technique. That gives us a double double tap. Ten armor might be good, so we, we can take less damage. And then... Gain two strength. Good for our spins. And then start elite combats with two strength. Because they're, they're the elite combats. Like, they're the ones we're going to struggle on. So being strong for them makes sense to me. Alright, we've got some goop here. If the other enemies are... Wait, what did that say? If the other enemies are still alive, revive in two turns. Okay. Secret technique. Double tap. Next two cards, play twice. Double entrance. Double whirlwind. And it's over! It's instantly over! We just popped them! They're just dead. Oh, an upgraded cleave. Yoink. Let's go camping. 
We're nearly at full health, so we'll smith. We'll upgrade our self-healing cleave. That could be good. Four strength. Oh, being able to do that more than once. That sounds pretty crazy to me. Okay, where are we going? We go question, boss, chest. Question, camp, chest, camp. I think left route is the good one. But I'm not sure. Before you is a site that seems out of place to the alien landscape around you. Strangely placed into one of the living walls beyond an enclosed stone entrance is a swirling blind magic portal. You don't know where it leads, but it could speed up your journey. No, I'm having a good time. I don't want to go in there. I want to go camping. Smith. Okay. Could upgrade our cleave. Could upgrade our, like, mini combusting cleave. Could upgrade our life stealing cleave. The life stealing cleave, like, let's get that, because I, <laughs> I don't want to keep taking chip damage from these little enemies here and there, and then get to the boss at low health. Question card. Future card rewards have an extra card to choose from. Cool. Smith again. Just upgrade a cleave, right? You can't go wrong with a cleave. Do a bolo to damage. Right, I've got an enemy. Let's try out my new stuff. Thorns. Thorns is a problem. Okay, what do we got? Charge, cleave, headbutt, bash. So we're going to want to bash to weaken somebody first. Then we'll cleave them all. Entrance them all. Headbutt that dude. And then I'm going to pick my cleave back up, maybe? I'm going to make a pick my cleave back up. Then we'll charge this guy. Uh, we'll pick up Clash. This is a good. I got a lot of attack cards now. And then the cleave on top of my deck that'll clear up this dude. So we just got to finish the guy at the back. Okay, whenever we attack, gain three. Armor months. That'll upgrade our headbutt, I guess. Cleave. Headbutt. Then we're gonna get back. What are we gonna take back? Make bash, make him vulnerable, make him weak. Armor up a bit. We have 16 armor, not even take damage. Iron wave. I mean, that pick didn't matter, so I just rushed it because this guy is probably dead based on what we're drawing. Okay, we're gonna vulnerable him. Iron wave him. Wait, he's weakened me. I'm not a fan of that at all. Oh, piss. Oh no, we're going to take loads of damage. We're going to take 20 damage. Ow. I have no defensive cards. That's my problem. Like a whirlwind finish, though, at least. <laughs> so this is where the, the heal six at the end of your turn. That's the only thing that's keeping me alive. All right, gain double red. I mean, that, I, I keep that as well. That stays. So I keep my mana through turns. Alright, we've got the more. This thing's got 300 health. Okay, secret technique. Double tap. That's what we're here for. Double tap, next two play twice. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Bash first? Wait, do we want to bash first? I don't know, I want to bash first. Yeah, we'll bash first. So we double tap dramatic entrance for like 36 and double cleave for like 24. That wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Hemokinesis, take two, deal 15, it'll, it'll kill him. It's, it's what we call preemptive healing. The damage they don't do because I killed them is healed by the fact they're too dead to hurt me. Let's weaken him. He only hits for five. Rage, a little bit of an iron wave, a couple of strikes. We've got a leftover mana, we'll keep a hold of that. A double tap. We 
We should keep saving up our mana more. Like, that, that six damage strike was probably a waste. Leave it. Do I want combust? It's gonna start hurting me. See that defender's a waste, because that'll just disappear. I'll take the combust, but I'm not happy about it, and it will bloodlight a little bit. Just a little bit. Just bleed a little bit. Blood for blood, cost one less each time you lose HP, delay team damage. Drop kick, let's vulnerable him. No, that doesn't give him vulnerable. That's my bad, I picked the wrong card. Alright, here we go. Flex. Intimidate. Double tap for a super searing blow. A bit of anger. We have nothing else to do, so we're just gonna take a shitload of damage, I guess. Um, dual wield to pick up some attack cards, finish him off. Ow! Alright, we get three strength because we're below half. And then armaments, let's upgrade something. Upgrade the headbutt, I guess. That's plus five, that's plus three, that's plus three, that's plus three. So take the one that's plus five then. Secret technique, whirlwind. We need a whirlwind. Whirlwind. Cool. Next time we get a whirlwind, we'll whirlwind for like ten and it's over. All right, we put it on top, so it's there. We did it. It cost us a lot. That took a lot of damage. That oh, Another upgraded whirlwind. That cost us a lot, and that was just a normal fight. Thankfully, we have the thing to heal six at the end of the turn, and then also... Where is it? If you, if you like, have a fight, heal 12. So we healed 18, but that's still rough. So we can question, question, camp, or we can enemy question, camp. Double questions. Let's have some fun with it. Ah, oh, it's just a fight. Ooh, a relic! Let's fight for a relic. Let's go. I thought there would be three enemies. That thing looks like an enemy. Okay. Seeing red. Let's get a super whirlwind going. Six times eight. It's 48. It's not enough, but it... It's like the only thing we can do with our turn. We could take a shitload of damage right now. <laughs> Thankfully we started with 10 block, I guess. Back down to 36. I guess, I mean, if it puts below half and we heal for 12, I guess it doesn't matter in the end anyway. Okay, flex up, spin, it's over, it's over. And then we heal up because we're below half, back to 54. It's all good. If you receive five or less damage, reduce it to one damage. If they hit me for four, I only take one. That's fine. Skills cost nor can be played if everything's an attack. Everything's usually an attack. Like, we're doing a really bad job of defending ourselves, but we're killing stuff. While walking and traversing through the chaos of the spire, your thoughts begin to feel real. Imaginings of monsters and riches begin to manifest. Fight a boss, get a relic, let's go! Let's get some bosses in here! It's only an Act 1 boss, Hexaghost. What the fuck is a Hexaghost? Okay, we'll get some extra mana. Got a bit of a dramatic entrance. A couple of cleaves. Bonk him. And we'll get some more mana next turn. And... Let's get the super single target one. I hope this guy doesn't spawn people. Okay, that's a five times six. Uh oh. Well, okay, okay. Nine times eight is seventy-two down. That's not nearly enough. So we're gonna want to do stuff that blocks, and then whirlwind with the rest. 
Okay, not bad. Five times six, that's a lot of damage. 32, it's bonk him. Bloodletting, though, bonk him. We've got bonk him. Uh, ooh, five times six. If I take less than five, it does one. I took no damage. Oh, now it hits for six. The window's weakening him. Now it hits for four, now it hits for one. Secret technique. What's our secret technique going to be? Seeing red. Get some extra mana up in here. I should have bashed first. Like, oh, I should have double tap. I, I don't even have any attacks. That was an awful turn. I, I, I messed that up a lot. It's not going to matter though. We're only going to take one damage. I got to stay focused. Stay focused, okay? Five times two. Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. The bludgeon has a higher damage rate, so that's worth bonking with. Searing blow is the same as the whirlwind. So we'll bludgeon. Headbutt, get the bludgeon back. Ooh, double tap. We'll take double tap. And then we'll whirlwind with the rest. This is gonna do two damage to us, that doesn't matter. Pick up another double tap. I'm okay taking two damage. This ghost sucks thanks to the artifacts we have. Double tap, fiend fire. It's like a billion damage. We won, we won, we did it. We should have gotten lower than we were. But that's fine. Pocket Watch, when you play three or less cards, draw three cards. I'm always playing three cards. Gain five strength potion. I just this is. Don't even know why I read it as potion. Okay, whenever you play attack, gain three block. We do need more defensive cards. So we'll pick up the rage. Pick up the rage. Keep ourselves safe. Rest before the final boss. Make sure we're going in with full health. And then we've got the. There's two of them. There's a donut and a, a hedron. We're not going to use all our mana, that's for sure. Bit of the cleave going. Alright, so you're the buffer and you're the attacker. So we'll kill the attacker first and just leave the buffer behind. Having two mana is worth it. It does three damage to us, but it can do like 20 damage to them. A 20 damage, we'll pick that up. I think we die here, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try as hard as I can to not die here. One damage to five, that could be good. But the whirlwind represents more. So we'll headbutt this guy. And we'll pick a cleave back up. And then we'll whirlwind the rest away. I guess this is five every turn. So we'll do that, we'll whirlwind the rest away. And then maybe we can maybe we can get to him. Maybe we can finish this. Three damage round of three times. It's not very good, but we'll take it. He's about to hit me for 26. Oh, they're armoring up now? I think I've got like two turns left. Alright, we'll flex up. Secret technique. Take the double tap. Double tap, upgraded cleave, twice, and whirlwind, twice. That's quite good. It's not the best, but it was quite good. This front guy is nearly dead. Disarm, make the enemy lose strength. That might keep us alive. <laughs> 15? I think I have to finish him, like right now, or else. I was killing the wrong one as well. I think it's over. I don't know if I see a way out of this. 16 times 2. We, have, we don't really have defensive cards. We survived the first 16, but that's it. Like, we don't really have enough to finish anybody either. Pick the whirlwind back up, but... 
It's, it's, it's all over. It's all over. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. We got quite far for ourselves, to be honest. We climbed 50 floors. We only killed 14 people. We basically avoided all combat, to be fair. We made a thousand monies. I think I'm not I'm not too upset by right that. Alright, that was my first proper, like, fully committed run of Slay the Spire. I had a lot of fun with it. I don't know how far this game goes. I bet there's like a hundred floors and I only got to floor three and I'm like, pat myself on the back. I did fine. But thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Slay the Spire, let me know in the comments below. I'll consider it. I mean, I enjoy it, but I, I can't do stuff if no one wants to see it. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.